Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to ArtShowTourersOnline.com. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about confidence in drawing and painting, because without it, you're not going to be able to draw. So, you need to listen carefully to this. So today, you're going to draw and paint. <clears throat> well, before you start, did you realise that there is nobody in the world that draws and paints like you do. Now, do you think to yourself, ah oh, yes, but I'm not very good at drawing and painting. I'm just a useless, pathetic individual. Or do you think to yourself, well, nobody in the world draws and paints like I do. That is brilliant. Do you see the difference? You see, if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. And that just doesn't apply to drawing and painting. It applies to everything. So you've got to believe that you can draw and paint today. Now, if the tutor or your teacher or whoever it else comes past and looks at your work today and says to you, ooh, that looks good, I want you to turn around and say to them, no, it isn't. So if they say to you, oh, that looks really good, say, no, it isn't. Because what I'd like you to say to them is this. They come to you and say, oh, that looks good. You've done a good drawing there. You say, no, it isn't. Because this is my drawing and this is brilliant. Do you see the idea? You've got to have confidence in your own ability. Now, some people turn to me and sometimes and say things like, but I'm no good at drawing and painting. Well, look at these drawings here. Have you noticed in these drawings, they're not perfect. In fact, they're not particularly good. They were done by a 22 year old, probably older than you. But have you noticed, it hasn't rubbed out all the lines. There's a few blotches here and there. He's not worried about it. But look who this artist is. Andy Warhol. His work sells for millions of pounds. You don't have to draw things that you think look perfect. So, talking about perfection. I once went into a school and there was a girl of about ooh, 11 years old. She was working with me, she was in the middle of a drawing and suddenly she burst into tears. I was shocked. I said to her, what on earth is the matter? She said, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's all gone wrong. I said to her, do you realize that you are crying over a sheet of paper with lines on it? That's what you're crying over. Get a grip, girl. Just do it. Just draw. It's a piece of paper. If it goes wrong, get another one. Don't try and make your drawings look perfect because there is no such thing. Do you know, I once saw somebody drawing lines with one of these. I was so shocked. A ruler. Imagine that using a ruler to draw straight lines with in an art lesson. I thought, what is going on? That person did not realize that to draw a straight line with a ruler makes your line look like everybody else's line. Why on earth would you want to do that? You're an artist, you want to be an individual. Draw your own line. I then saw somebody using one of these. Yes, an eraser. They're actually rubbing out their lines. What's that all about? Do you not realize what it must be like to be a line? You have created a line on a sheet of paper. It's there doing nothing, minding its own business. And you come along with this great lump of rubber and destroy it. How do you think that poor line feels? You can't do that. If the line happens to be in the wrong place, draw another one. Remember, you created the line. And have you ever thought, if you ever did become a great artist and your work like say Picasso, a drawing by Picasso might cost you a million pounds and he's rubbed out half the lines. You get less lines for your money. It's not a good idea. So if you're going to draw 
or even paint today. Don't try and make it look perfect. Try and look, make it look like your drawing. Because remember, it doesn't matter what that person's doing or that person's doing, they're rubbish compared to you. You concentrate on your own drawing, your own painting. And remember, nobody in the world draws and paints like you do. And that is brilliant. Thank you for watching ArtTutorialsOnline.com. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please click like. That would be much appreciated. And if you could subscribe to the channel as well, that would be brilliant. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.